I preach what the book says. I preach of experience. You say, well, I don't know. The Bible says you are not to know because you don't have the Spirit. The Spirit is not given to the world. John chapter 3 says, If you have never believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, if you have never asked Christ to save you, Verse 18, he that believeth on him is not condemned. I'm not condemned. But you have never asked Christ to save you. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Your destination without Jesus is hell. Men are in hell because they have rejected the payment, the sacrifice that Jesus has done upon Calvary's cross. That is why you're in hell. The condition is sin, but Christ can wash you. Christ can cleanse you. And if you choose to refuse to what Christ has done for you, you will be still scarred in your sins and burning in the lake of fire for all eternity, unless your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. It's very, very, very simple. Man makes it complicated. What must you do to get out of hell? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. The virgin born, the Son of God, who is God, and God is Jesus, can reach down to death. Oh, the heaven of heavens. The Holy of Holies, reach down and wash you today and make you clean. John chapter 3 says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, ye must be, must, must, you have to. There's no choice. But God gives you a free will to make a choice, but the only choice God wants you to make, ye must be born again. So you were born in you were born in sin. It was passed on to you by your parents, by your great grandparents, by your great 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 grandparents, your great 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 grandparents called Adam and Eve. It's terrible, it's horrible, but it happens, and how are you going to deal with it? The precious blood, the finished work upon Calvary, the tomb was, was empty. The greatest news was when the angels proclaimed, He is not here, He is risen. And because He is risen, you can have your name written down the Lamb. All the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. You can have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Having your name in the Lamb's Book of Life seals your eternity to be in glory forever. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Have you been to Calvary? Have you been to the risen Savior? Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life because I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. Do you have that testimony? Or are you believing in anything else but? Now anything else but Jesus said, I am the way. So any other way that you believe is not the way. Religion is not the way. You're not the way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father. You're not predestinated. You're not going to come back as a cockroach. You ain't coming back as a cow because Jesus is the salvation. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. And Jesus is the lie. Everything else. It's not the way. It's not the truth. And it's death rather than life. Read about your father 
John 8, 44, Satan. Be careful. Because Paul speaks to the Corinthian church, there are many Jesuses out there. You're going to have the Jesus of the Bible. You're going to have the Jesus that went to Calvary. You're going to have the Jesus who is God, and God is Jesus. There are plenty of Gospels out there. But one is that Christ died for you. And was buried according to scriptures. And arose from the grave on the third day all according to scripture. You've got to have a scriptural Jesus. That will be a scriptural salvation. And to a place where Jesus said, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word, scriptural, my word will never pass away. You're not going to find a professional in heaven. You're not going to find a missile in heaven. You're not going to find an NIV in heaven. You're not going to find what your pastor says in heaven. You're not going to find a magazine in heaven. But you will find the King James 1611 authorized Holy Bible in heaven. This is the authority. And what this book says, you need to do. And what this book say? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Again, what this book says? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Again, what this book says? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You just memorized scripture for today. Acts 16.31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. What? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. I'm going to get you people to memorize that scripture. I'm going to quote it over and over. What must I do to be saved? And they answered and said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Acts 16, 30, and 31. That's simple. But all the torment, all the pain, the needlessness of not believing on, joy, on Jesus Christ and entering into a place that was never made for you. How the Bible says in Matthew, Jesus said, was made for Satan and his angels. It was not made for us. Everything was good in the garden until man rebelled and disobeyed the Word of God. And rejecting the Word of God, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You won't be saved. John chapter 3 speaks that you're already in condemnation. You're already bound and destined to hell unless you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It's it. And yet, Revelation chapter 4 said, We were made to glory. We were made to honor. We were made to worship God. And that is exactly what you're not doing today. And you're not doing it in the name of religion. And you're not doing it in the name, I'm a good person. The only way you can honor God is by honoring His Son. And the only way you can honor His Son is to believe. And the only way you can believe is by putting all your sins under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you can do it yourself, why did He come down here? If you can do it by works, why was He nailed to the cross? And how many days is it going to take you to be resurrected out of the grave where it took him three days? What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. As long as the Lord gives me breath and the willing to be here, Lord willing, you will come to memorize Acts chapter 10, Acts 16, 31.
Boys, you are here. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And if you choose not to believe, and you stand before God at the great white throne judgment, upon your lips will be, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And you're going to say, where did I get that from? That loud mouth anger preacher that preaches on the street is where you got it from. But I ain't loud mouth because I'm here because I love you. I'm here because I want you to repent. I want you to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. I don't see no Roman Catholic priest over here. I don't see no Jehovah Witnesses putting their magazines out. I don't see any church out here trying to stop you from going to hell. They're the ones that don't care. If I stood here saying, Bridge is out! Bridge is out! I'm trying to win. And if you don't listen and you fall into the ditch or into the river or whatever or crash into the train, you didn't listen. So again, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Are you affiliated with any particular organization? We're with Bible Baptist Church in Okay. Those are the words that can be spoken in over, over 45 minutes, I could say. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And that shall be said. That has been the answer from the time of Jesus, and it's still the answer today. Yeah, they they profess that Jesus is not God. Yeah, I know. I was in a three They're totally not good. Yeah. They have to deny everything in the Bible. What they, what they do is they change the promises to Israel. That's why they call it Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, the Jehovah's Witnesses are the 144,000 followers in Revelation. Who are you? And they're all males, and they're all men. Yep. And they're all virtues. And another thing with Jehovah's Witnesses, they hit the 144,000 years and years and years and years ago. I swear they changed the doctrine now because they changed everything because they have more than